Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of AutoCAD 2018. Um, we've been through this before, assembling different 3D solids, but some of you may have forgotten. So I will go through this in the in this tutorial. Um, we'll be carrying out the following exercise. So let's suppose that we have to we want to assemble this trolley wheel. So typically in another software like Autodesk Inventor we would apply constraints in the assembly environment and um, AutoCAD is not as advanced, it's not designed for that purpose. So rather than um, applying constraints you move parts to the respective location. So I'm going to start by rotating this bracket. So I'll first select it. Now if I click here where it says 3D rotate or use the rotate 3D command. Now if I rotate it just 90 degrees as you can see here. And now if I rotate this part once again 3D rotate command so I'll click on my Y axis and then I'll rotate it 270 degrees. There we go. Okay, so let's suppose we want to move this part to, to its position. So if we use the move command, so I'm going to type in move, press enter. Now I'll select the object, press enter. So it's asking me for a base point. So as you can see my base point is that center. That's where I want to pick it up from. So I'll click on it. And now I want to place it on that center. It's just struggling to um to actually find the snap. If found it, if you struggle with that, the best thing you can do is hold shift, right click, and then these um, options will come up. These are basically called snap overrides. So, as you can see here, you may have um, all of these snaps on. As soon as you hold shift and right click, you can select any snap. So, if we, if we say center, it will override your normal snaps. So now you just have to hover over um, this face and it will find the center. If we click on it, it will place it there. Snap overrides, they are not necessary, but they do make life a little bit easier. So if I do the same with this part, if I use the move command again, select it, press enter. Now, I'll use the center of that um, face. Now if I find um, and I'm hovering over this face. So I found um, the center of um, the center of this hole. So if I paste it there, if I move it there to that location. As you can see now it is in place. Okay. So let's say that we want to we want to place this wheel. Okay. I'll show you the easiest way of doing it. So again if you use the move command Select it, press enter. Actually, before I move the wheel, it will be a lot easier if I um, place the bush first. So first, I'll use 3D rotate again. Select it. And rotate it. Okay. Now I'll use the move command again, I'll click on it, press enter, and then 
if I hover over this face, it's already highlighted in the center of that of that face. So I'll click on it, and I have to paste it on the center of this face. As you can see, it's been highlighted over there. And we obviously want another one on the other side. So the easiest way to do this is obviously using a mirror. So it will mirror the part directly on the other side. Normally, I would use my 3D or snaps. So if you don't have this icon showing up, then click here in this corner, customization, and then you should be able to turn it off if you select it here 3D object or 3D object snap. So once you select it, you can turn on the option that says center of face. So now, if I highlight my bush and type in mirror. Now if I hover over the wheel, if I look at it from a different angle, again, oh, I've just realized that I got it still off, so I'll turn it on first. Now that they're on, as you can see, I'm still struggling to find it, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold shift, right click, and then use my snap overrides. So I'm going to um, use my 3D snaps overrides. So I'm going to select center of face. So that will now overwrite everything else. So when I hover over this face, it finds the geometrical center, the 3D center of the wheel. So it is highlighted in blue. So I can just um, do a left click and it will select it from that place. And if I draw a line in this direction it will just um, mirror um, the push on the other side so I don't want to erase the source object but click on no and as you can see I just copied it so now if we want to place the wheel on the right place I will be showing you different ways of um, of carrying out the task so one way of doing it is for instance you can select all of it, use the move command again now if I find the center of this face now I can find the center of this face and paste it there so as you can see now the center of this face is flash with that face and the hole is in, in the right position however now we need to if I look at it from the front we need to offset these three parts to the right so you just select these parts use the move command again so specify base point, it can be anywhere, it doesn't really matter. So if you click for instance here and then drag it to the side towards you want to move it to and now you type in the offset. So in my case it's one mil. So if I type in one as you can see now it's perfectly centered. However, in some um in some cases you may not know um the exact off offset distance um, I'll be showing you um, a different way of doing the same task so I've just I just undid all of that so if you don't want to do it in two steps if you for instance don't want to um, first um, move it to that position and then offset it to the side you can do all of that with a single input so again I'll select it I'll use the move command I'll select the center of this face and now I'll use my snap of right so I'll hold shift and right click 
and then I will use the from function. So I'll click on it from. So now all I have to do is find the center of this face, which is here. Click on it, and because we're using from, if I now drag it to the side, I just type in one, and then it will um, place it one mil in that in the um, along the x direction, along the x axis from that center point. So that is another way of doing it. If you don't want to um, use two inputs, so why not to use um, a single input instead of two? Um, I'll show you another way, which will not require any numerical input. So regardless of um, you knowing um, the distance that it needs to be offset or not knowing it, um, in that case, what you can do, you can select um, the part. So now if you use the move command again. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my snap overrides again. I'm going to use my 3D snap. I'm going to select center of face. Now we'll select, I will hover over this face. So as you can see, we found, um, you can probably see that blue dot coming up. So we found the 3D center of the wheel. I'm going to select it. And now I clearly want it right in the middle. So I'm going to use another um, snap over right. So hold shift, right click. And this time I'm going to say mid between two points. I'm going to say mid between two points. I'm going to find the center point of this face. And I'm going to find this center point. So as you can see, it placed um, right in the center where it should go. So now all we need to do, we need to rotate this one. Ninety degrees. We also need to rotate this one ninety degrees. I'll use the move command again. So you don't even need to type in move. All you need to do is type it, type in M and press enter, and it will apply the move command. So. It is good practice, it does save some time um, in the long run. So as you can see, I have my um, 3D snaps on. So I don't even need to use snap overrides anymore. Um, it is already spot in the center of the 3D center of my pin. So now if I want to place it in the center of this face, you have to hover over this face. And then as you can see the blue dot coming up, if you now left click, you will place it right on the center of the face but it is important that you hover over the actual face and not outside of it otherwise it won't find it so now I can use a copy command again use use the copy command type in co or copy or click here don't use control c because what that will do that will copy it to the clipboard so select the object now you press enter. Now again we want to find the center of that face. So hover over it, click on it. And now we want to paste it in the center of that face. So you can see when I hover over over it outside, it's not spotting it, is it? But as soon as I hover over it inside, it found the blue dot. So left click. So we copied and pasted our um second pin on place and now if I want to move this in place all I do is highlight it use the move command again find the center of the face now if I look for the center of the face for the wheel again it is getting confused and messy with all of these um, different snaps 
it's quite hard to visualize so I'll hold shift right click through the snap center of face and then paste it there there we go so it's perfectly centered now so this is how you actually move um, move things around in AutoCAD and assemble um, different parts. I hope that this exercise and video tutorial was useful. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.